Hello, this is Preet, and I'm going to talk about arrays and how to pass arrays to functions using pointers. So you need to know how to use pointers. There were two previous videos that discuss how to use pointers. So let's start out by declaring an array. So I'm going to have two arrays, and I'll call it array A and give it automatic size of three elements and let me have another array B give it an automatic size and let's have five or actually ten elements here and the idea is I want to find the average of the array and I want it to be reusable code so the idea is I would like a function that will average the array and return it back so this is a pseudocode that's why that's uh, highlighted or uh, has a squiggly red line underneath so the idea is I want to be able to get the average of array a and average of array B. Okay, so let's fix up the syntax. And I will show you what to pass in into the average function. So the idea is that we cannot pass the whole array into the average function. What we can do is pass in where the array is stored at. So for example, the average function can know that there's some array, for example, in this um, In some memory somewhere and the average function will take uh, that memory and add up all the memory locations and after adding all the memory locations we will get the average the way we do that is with the pointer okay so what we have right now is this pointer is pointing to some array that we can pass in. So as you see the squiggly line went away because now when I pass in this array into the average function what I'm doing is I'm actually passing the base memory location into the average function. So in this call over here average function is given array A. What that evaluates to is the base memory location of array A wherever it's stored in memory. So in this case would be 1, 2, and 3. And one thing that's missing here is this function doesn't know how much memory belongs to the array passed into this pointer. We have this pointer that's telling us that the memory is here, but we don't know how far to go. How do we know that we, only, we are only supposed to go 3 elements long? How, how do we know that we are not supposed to go to 6 elements? So what I need here is the size of the array. So for array A, A, we know that the size is 3. For array B, we know that the size is 10. So now, in order to calculate the average, what I do is have a simple for loop and access my array. And the way I access this array is with an index element. And this index element automatically applies the dereference op operator. So it's the same thing as saying dereference the pointer plus i. So this would be the same thing as dereferencing 
your array with an offset. And finally, in order to calculate the average, I basically will do sum divided by size. Now I'm dealing with integers, so I'm not going to get fractional numbers. So if I run this program, what you'll see is the average of the first array is 2, like we expect. Average of second array is 5, like we expect. So to recap, to pass in arrays, you, you cannot pass in all the elements. You can't do something like average 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because if you do that, then you're restricted to six parameters. And what's happening here is my average function is now flexible. I can have any number of elements and the average function will work because it just takes the base location the base memory location of your array followed by the number of elements you want to add up and it'll add them all up and return the average of that array. So in the previous video you should have seen that pointers uh, they have three basic rules. So rule number one what we're applying is we're telling the average function where um, our array is stored at. So uh, if you don't know already if you are dealing with an array, the name itself is basically the address of the base memory location. So this is the same thing as address of the first element, like so, and it will still work. So average function is given the address of the base memory location. So we have a pointer that's point pointing to some memory location, and we don't know how many elements are associated with this memory. So we also need the size. And once we know the size, we basically add up all the elements by using the index operator. So the pointer with an index operator is an automatic dereference of memory, or in other words, automatic dereference as in whatever is stored into that memory. We're, we don't want to deal with the pointer. We want to deal with what's stored into the memory. So that's the index uh, right here. So we add up all that into a variable and simply return the sum back. So in conclusion, this was a video that showed you how to pass in a pointer to a function. And in this case, we actually pass in an array. So in order to pass in an array, you have to uh, give away your base memory location.